Hi YouTubers, it's George. I haven't been too well the last few days. I've had like uh, flu and uh, I've had a Covid test. <coughs> <coughs> and uh, I've been a bit rough. And uh, But I went up the park for a short walk and I felt that much better. And I'm so fed up of being in the house, in the bungalow I should say. I decided to come out and uh, Jane's out at a yoga class so I decided to come out and just have a sit in the van brought one of my radios with me amateur radios and I parked up here and now I'm going to have a coffee and a couple of chocolate biscuits and uh, this is where I'm parked up I think this is also listed on park for night but I wouldn't want to stop to be perfectly honest and this is my bit of an angle but it uh, doesn't matter beautiful day really but rain clouds coming in <coughs> uh, got the bike rack fitted and uh, yeah fits perfect apart from uh, the spoiler on this rear of this bongo protrudes quite a lot down compared to some of them and uh, so I had to cut it and uh, the reason why I could have took it off completely but it leaves quite a few holes but um, the reason why I fitted it back <coughs> because it's got the high level bright light in it and uh, yeah so I'm going to put the gas on and have a brew and uh, I've got some of these uh, cushions and these cushions when unzipped turn into a single duvet <coughs> I've actually <coughs> just moved the van about 15 yards it's more level and it's not so muddy and uh, the reason why I moved the uh, there's a, like a VW camper here and now it's just me on this bit, which is good. Kettle's on. It's not. It's a bit muddy here, but right. And the radio I brought with me today is uh, Malenheit. I think it's Russian. I'm not sure. Dusty, because I haven't had it out for a while. And I'll I'll just put it on in a minute. Just put the radio on, see if there's any signals. Can't remember to use the thing. Can't hear anything apart from the kettle. Let me uh, put the arrow down and let's see how, see how what the volume speaker there. That's frequency. Oh wow, this is good. Well, that was uh, interesting. Well, the interruption of the sheep. When I got back to the radio, there's so much interference, even out here, I couldn't get any stations. 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have some coffee and just sit and do nothing really and listen to the birds. Oh, there's the... Uh, there we go, that's that poured. I think I've got some milk in the fridge. There's the milk. Oh dear, I'm doing this single hand it is. That's a milk. That's a hot milky coffee. Come on. That's that. Got a bit of mould in the fridge. I don't think we cleaned it out from last time. Luckily everything we've got here is uh, wrapped up. fridge off actually because it's all its drop of milk in there. Right. I don't have sugar these days. <coughs> Hopefully you can hear the birds. Well, we sold our Talbot Express herb or herby trude, and uh, the gentleman came down from Scotland. Very nice family, and uh, was driven back to Scotland, and they they were on their first adventure. And uh, you should have lots and lots and lots of adventures in herb. I miss herb though because like sitting here. You know, we would I could lay out more, and um, we've got a toilet if we need one, <coughs> things like that. But in this, we've got no loot toilet. It's a really a day van, I think, is the best name to describe it. And I'm going to have my coffee and my chocolate biscuit, or two chocolate biscuits, and I may go for a little walk up to the bridge and back. I don't know. We'll see. Well, I've tried my Malan Height STR radio and uh, I can't pick up any signals on the 20 or the 40 metre band. I've also tried my little ATS 100 and it's the same, not even picking up FT8. So I assume because we're so low um, in the valley, I might be below sea level here, I'm not sure that. Um, it's just the signal was no good. <coughs> As I can't say much, I'll let you listen to the birds. There's a car the other side.
I think that'll probably do it for this video. I don't want you bore you silly. <coughs> Fishing boats are there. The dam's down that end. And you can drive all the way around it, but it's private, so you can't actually walk, you know, apart from on the road that goes around it.